Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you the praise. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. We adore you, Jehovah. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord. We lay your crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God. We praise your name and we lay your crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay your crowns and worship you oh be lifted above all other god we lay your crowns thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus father we thank you we give you all the praise, Lord. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. There is no one like you, Shekinah glory. No one like you, Abba Father. Mm. Ela ko sina nana ma shabalata ya eregente legente legente legente. We give you all the praise, Lord. We worship you. We exalt your mighty name. We thank you because you are God. We bless you, Lord, for you are holy and forever you are God. We bless you, Lord, for you are holy and forever you are God. No one can do the things that you do, Jehovah Jireh. No one can do the things that you do Jehovah Nisi no one can do the things that you do Elohim Adonai the eternal God no one can do the things that you do La Shanana Ma Subrahande Ketea Elegante Lalaba Subrahande De Debo Siada Rabahaya we thank you Nisi we thank you Elohim we thank you Adonai La Kosi Dadaba Subrahande Hande de de boshi da 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 bahaya, elegenta la da da ba sobra hande ke shabalata. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We say, be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are not changing. You have not changed, and you will not change in my case. You have not changed, and you will not change in our cases. You have not changed what you used to do yesterday. You are still doing today, and you are going to do in our lives. Jesus, we give you all the the praise ele cozina na 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 masha balataya regenta la da 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 basuma na kashe brehendesh in the mighty name of jesus lord come and take you have your way come and have total preeminence come and take charge in the mighty name of jesus come and take charge in the mighty name of jesus come and take charge come and take total control in jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah glory to god god bless everyone joining this live session i am so sorry i came late this is one of those days when when you you this is one of those days when coming 
<laughs> when the love of God brings you for fellowship. This is one of those days when everything in the inside of you is saying you cannot do this. And the love of God is what brings you for fellowship. This is just one of those days. I thank God for his his uh, his strength i thank the lord for making it possible for me to be here today that is why it is always a privilege each time you have the opportunity to be in the presence of god it is a privilege it is never a right i thank god for giving me the strength to be here i thank the lord for making it possible for me to be here I thank God and I pray that God is going to reach you at your point of need in this live session in the mighty name of Jesus. God will reach out to someone today in their point of need in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to reach out to someone today in that place where you need God the, God the most. He's going to reach out to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. We lay your crowns and worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. This we lay your crowns and worship you. Hmm. I want to pray. I want to pray for somebody. The devil's primary aim, God led me to a particular Bible um, a verse and he opened my eyes to see something. And I want to use that to pray for someone that is here. I want to use that to pray for you. Please, let's go to the book of Luke chapter 8 and verse 43. Luke chapter 8 and verse 43. Luke chapter 8 and verse 43. We lay your crowns. Thank you, Lord. And worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 8, 43. We lay your crowns. Let me read this from the New King James Version of the Bible. It says, Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any. She had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by many. Let me look for another Bible verse, another Bible translation. We lay your crowns and worship you oh father lord we thank you she has spent all her livelihood on physician i'm trying to get let me see um the message bible now a woman having the flow of now, a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who has spent all her livelihood on physicians. No, that's not what physician could not be healed by any of them. I'm looking for a particular statement. I'm looking for a particular statement. Mm. She has spent all her livelihood and yet she could not be healed. Oh, I keep, I keep seeing the same statement. She had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed. Now, a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any. I got, I got to a part. I don't know where I'm trying to get that same Bible version. That says, you know, because God used it to open my eyes. God says sometimes there are some things you're suffering from and it is the devil's way of draining you. The Bible says she had spent all her livelihood and yet she did not have result. She had spent all she had trying to solve that issue and yet she did not have result. She has spent 
all her savings. And so sometimes the, the problem you are going through, the sickness you are going through, you think that the devil is after your health. No, the devil is not after your health. The devil is out to drain you financially. The devil is out to frustrate you. The problem you might think that the devil wants to kill you. There are some of us that the God has, has, has there is a hedge of protection around us. God has not given the devil permission to kill us. And so the devil cannot take away our life. And that right now, the devil knows that they cannot take away our life or he cannot take away our life. So what he is trying to do is to drain you, is to wear you out. The devil, because he knows he cannot kill you, he wants to drain you and wear you out. And so he begins to attack your relationship. He, begin, he begins to attack your source of happiness because the Bible says with joy, you shall draw from the wells of salvation. He knows he cannot do anything to you, but what he can do is affect your relationship. The devil knows that when he affects your relationship, you will not be productive. You are going to be worn out. You are going to be drained. And so you, 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 you miss it. You think the devil is after your relationship. No, the devil is after your joy. The devil is after that thing that God wants to use to reach out to you. The devil does not care if your relationship is working or not. The devil cares about your joy because he knows it is with that joy that you can get everything that God has for you. And God told me the devil wants to wear you out. He wants to wear you out. He wants to make you drained. He wants to drain you in one way or the other that you lose hope. But I am here to pray for somebody. The Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, the day she met Jesus, only by touching the hem of her garment, she got well. And everything that de the devil had used, the devil had drained her of all of her finances. The devil had drained her of everything. She was just trying to solve a particular problem. But the devil used that same problem to drain her and make her almost hopeless. But when she encountered the king of kings and the lord of lords, that thing the devil used to drain her, to make her, to waste all her resources, it got terminated within the twinkle of an eye. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Whatsoever the devil is using to drain you, whatsoever the devil is using to try to make you frustrated, whatsoever the devil is using to wear you out, I pray, may God touch you in that point in the name of Jesus. May God touch that point in the name of Jesus. May God touch that point in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever the devil is using to make you bitter. The devil knows when you are not at peace, you cannot serve him. Whatsoever the devil is using to drain you. I pray may God touch you in that particular point in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that become your biggest point of encounter. Let that become your biggest point of encounter. Let that become your biggest point of encounter. In the mighty name of Jesus. What the devil is using to make you a ridicule. The Bible says there was a woman at the well. There was a woman at the well. She had had five husbands. And the one she was with at that time was not even the, the man that she was married to. The Bible makes us to understand, you know, when you meet a prophet, right now, if you perceive that God is with me, you are going to start asking me important questions. You are going to start asking me the things that you are really after, the things that your life depend on. When she perceived that Jesus was a prophet, she began to ask Jesus, our father says that we are going to worship God on this mountain or on that mountain. Where do you think is the appropriate place for us to worship God? People looked at her as a prostitute because her life had a certain puncture somewhere. People looked at her as a prostitute, but right in the inside of her, she was a woman that longed to worship God. She was a woman that longed to worship God. When Jesus touched that aspect of her life and said, you had been married to five husbands and the one that you're married to right now is not even your husband. 
and told her a time is coming when true worshipers are going to worship God in spirit and in truth. When God touched that place of her life, she became an evangelist. I don't know what is that aspect of your life that people have given you a wrong identity. They have judged you wrong because of what is happening to you. They have judged you wrong. They don't know that you are dying on the inside. They think you like the life that you are living. They are saying that you, you, you they, they give you all kinds of names because of the life you are living. They don't know that deep in the inside of you, you want more. Deep in the inside of you, you are believing God for more. And it is just life circumstances that have kept you where you are. People say you are disrespectful, you are rude. They don't know it's because of your experiences in life that have kept you where you are. People say you, you are even in a place where you cannot love again. You have been so hurt by people and it's so difficult for you to trust and love people all over again. They don't know it is because of the, your, your life experiences. You have been drained and that is the trick of the enemy. I came to pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Wherever the devil had drained you emotionally, financially, spiritually. God is touching you at that point in the mighty name of Jesus. God is touching you at that point in the mighty name of Jesus. God is touching you at that point in the mighty name of Jesus. People say you spiritualize everything. People say you, you spiritualize everything. But it is because of your experience. The devil has tried to mess with you spiritually. You are always having spirit husband coming to sleep with you at night. Or spirit wife coming to sleep with you at night. You are always fighting uh, demons in your dreams. You are always fighting one battle or the other in your dreams and so it has made it to be you you are you, you you spiritualize everything and people are blaming you for that it is because of your experience the devil has infiltrated your dreamland and is wearing you out every time you want to pray it is warfare prayer not because you don't want to fellowship with god but because of your experience because of what the devil is doing to you the devil has given you prayer points that were not necessarily supposed to be your prayer points i pray Pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Wherever the devil is strategically trying to drain you, may you receive a touch from God in that area in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive a touch from God in that aspect in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive a touch from God in that aspect in the mighty name of Jesus. What the enemy intended for evil, God is turning it around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. What the enemy meant for evil, evil. God is turning it around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy intended to drain that woman of everything she had ever saved, but it became a point of her encounter and her story entered the Bible because of her faith. Just touching the hem of Jesus' garment, she got delivered. I pray for somebody. That same place that the devil things like, or the devil feels he has gotten you by holding that aspect of your life. That is the, becoming the very place of your encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. I feel like I am the only one that is fired up. I feel like I'm the only one that is fired up today. I feel like I'm the only one that is fired up. That same place where the devil feels like this is the place where people will use to laugh at you. This is the part, this is the point where people will ridicule you. This is the point where people will mock your God. God is that is becoming your point of encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. That is becoming your point of encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know, but I hear the number nine nine in the realms of the spirit. I hear the number nine. I hear the number nine. God says the devil has gotten you in a very tight corner. The devil had gotten you. Maybe I just came on life today for those nine people. Maybe I just came on life today for those nine people. God says those people, the devil had gotten you in this tight place. The devil has gotten you in this tight corner and is draining you emotionally, financially, spiritually, and, and you are feeling so frustrated 
limited by what is happening. But he says, as you listen to the sound of my voice, that area of your life is receiving a special touch from God. That area of your life is receiving a special touch from God. That area of your life is receiving a special touch from God. That area of your life is that area of your life is receiving a special touch from God. If it is your emotional life, it is receiving a special touch from God. God is mending your heart. God is fixing your life. God is mending your heart. God is fixing your life. And God is bringing you that person that will let you know that this is because of the encounter I had. It turned things around. I had given up on relationship. I had given up on marriage. I had given up on family. But by this encounter today, God is mending that area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. By this encounter today, God is mending that area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You are here in this live session and literally you have been sick for so long and that is the channel through which the devil drains your finances. That is the channel through which the devil, the devil drains your finances. I rebuke the devil over your finances in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke the devil. The devil is not after your health. He is after your finances. He knows that as long as you are sick, money cannot stand in your hands. You are going to spend everything uh, from one doctor to the other. I rebuke the hand of the devil over your finances. I rebuke the hand of the devil over your finances. I rebuke the hand of the devil over your finances. In the mighty name of Jesus, your children are acting up and it is getting you so frustrated. Your children are acting up and it is getting you so frustrated. The plan of the enemy is not for your children. He doesn't want your children to get wayward, but it is for your peace. He knows that as long as your children are making you frustrated, you cannot concentrate, you cannot serve God. You are going to channel all your effort just to get them to live right. But that is not the plan of God for you. Right now, God wants you to have a deeper and intimate, intimate relationship with him and not to fight warfare prayers and not to get frustrated about the life of your children. He wants you to come closer. He wants to draw you a little closer. That is a distraction. The devil is trying to distract, distract you by afflicting you. Therefore, I pray for you. Every affliction that is upon your life, that is serving as a distraction. I set you free from that in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, who the son of man sets free is free indeed. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. And I set you free in the name of Jesus. I set you free from that affliction in the name of Jesus. I set you free from that, from that affliction in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not waste your resources over things that do not matter. You will not waste your, waste your resources over things that do not matter. You will not waste your resources over things that do not matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, the devil knows that your marriage is supposed to be that area where God will be glorified. The devil knows that your marriage, your settlement is that aspect where God is glorified. And so the devil has sent, you know, sometimes when the devil cannot slow you down, the devil is going to hasten you up. When the devil cannot slow you down, he's going to hasten you up. So he has hastened you up and he has sent just the wrong people in your life to come and mess you up emotionally. And right now you are having different thoughts about marriage. You think marriage is not for you. You think this is not for you. You think marriage, a relationship do not work with me. It is the plan of the devil to drain you when it has to do with emotions. Emotionally, I pray God is touching your emotional life and God is glorifying himself in your emotional life in the mighty name of Jesus. God is touching your emotional life and he is glorifying himself in that emotional life in the mighty name of Jesus what the enemy meant for evil God is turning it around for your good what the enemy meant for evil God is turning it around for your good Queen Esther what the enemy meant for evil in your life God is turning it around for your good Melanie Weston, what the enemy meant for evil, God is turning around for your good. Kendrick Sims, what the enemy meant for evil, God is turning around for your good. Bobby English, what the enemy meant for evil. Frank Chukuma, what the enemy meant for evil. Krisha, God's child, what the enemy meant for evil. Priscilla, Alana, India Powell, M.E.K., Luya Harrison, Brittany, what the enemy meant for evil in your life. 
God is turning it around for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus, Kelly Van, Cosmos, Anthony, what the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around in your life. Carla Yellow Rose for Jesus. Go, Kathy, what the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around for your ah. Elanana Mashabrahandaya, Kashmiti, Patricia Harris, Timothy, Mrs. Lile, Mrs. Liddell, Violet B. What the enemy meant for evil in your life, God is turning it around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil is going to watch in a mix man how that same thing he wanted to use to bring you down. God is turning it around. Andrew Chiwa, God is turning it around. Anthony Chart Styles, God is turning it around. Yes, Senior Quintana, God is turning it around. The devil is going to be amazed because that same thing that the devil thought was going to take you away from God. You are going to be tired of asking. You are going to be tired of believing God. That same thing the devil thought he was going to use it to distract you from God. That is the same thing that God is using to give you an encounter. A mighty turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the same thing the devil, God, that, that God is using to give you an encounter counter a mighty turn around in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name uh Julius Simon what the enemy meant for evil God is turning it around for your good God is turning it around Abu Brahma Zipporah Herman Blush what the enemy intended for evil ha Eladada Basubanana God is turning it around Around faith walk, grace one way. What the enemy intended to be the source of what would drain you is going to be your source of encounter and turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fail in life and in destiny. You will not end up frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fail. You will not end up frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, the psalm is speaking. He says, since I was born uh, up till now, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children break bread. You will not be forsaken. That same thing that the devil has used to mess your life. That same thing the devil has used to mess your life. That is going to be your point of turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be the point that God will use to turn your life around in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be the point that God will use to turn your life around in Jesus mighty name of you will not fail you are not ending up frustrated you are not ending up frustrated you are not ending up frustrated what when the devil felt that he had succeeded that is the point that God will use to turn your life around in the mighty name of Jesus I don't know what it is and I don't care to know but I know that God will be glorified in that case I know that God will be glorified in that case I know that God will be glorified in that case I know that God will be glorified in that case in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what it is, but I don't care to know whether it has a name or it doesn't. God will be glorified in that case in the mighty name of Jesus. God will be glorified in that case in the mighty name of Jesus. God will be glorified in that case in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That will be the point of your turnaround. That will be the point of your divine encounter. That will be the point where you will see the hand of God like never before. That same thing the enemy wanted to use to make you frustrated, to drain you and to make you lose hope. That will be the point of your turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord like you are about to receive an encounter. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord like you are about to receive a special touch from God. Go ahead and thank the Lord like it was you God sent me here to minister to. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord like God sent me here just for you, just for you today. Go ahead and begin to give God praise. That situation that has been draining you, that situation that seems to be making you frustrated, that is that point where God is touching. I want you to go ahead and thank God in faith. Go ahead and thank God in faith. It was not easy for me to come to this live session, but if I came here, it's because of somebody. God wants to 
are. God wants to turn the life of someone around totally and completely. God wants to turn the life of someone around totally and completely. And I pray that person is you. So just go ahead and begin to thank God in faith. Go ahead and begin to thank God in faith. Go ahead and begin to thank God in faith. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We say be exalted. Be thou glorified. When you are done, Lord, let your signature be, be, be on it. We are give, gonna give you back all the glory. Let your signature be in this aspect of our life. That will give you back all the glory. That what the enemy intended for evil, you have turned it around for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your signature be on it. That is gonna end up, we are going to end up saying what did uh, what the enemy intended for evil, God has turned it around for our good in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, if you feel led in your spirit, you want to plant a seed to connect to the prophetic word. You want to plant a seed, whatever God is laying in your heart to do, how to connect. Maybe you want to give a tithe. You want to pay your tithe. You want to give an offering, a donation, or you want to plant a seed into a specific word. I don't know how God has ministered to you. I don't know which of the words that has gotten to you. And you want to lock it in and say, Lord, I believe you. I stretch out my faith and I connect into this word. Let it be done unto me according to your word. Go ahead right now and begin to do that. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, Western Union, the information is at the top of your screen on the blue bar. At the end of every live session, we always give people an opportunity because the uh, the angel of the Lord speaking to Cornelius, he says, your offerings, your, your, your prayers and your offerings have gotten to heaven. So we always give people an opportunity to, 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 to connect their prayers with an offering. So right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. If you're led in your spirit, you want to give an offering, a donation, or you want to connect prophetically to a specific prophetic word, go ahead right now and begin to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And please, if you're paying your tithe, always indicate, this is my tithe I am paying so that I pray for you. It's always very important. I I, I like, uh, 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 there, is a, there is a covenant for tithers. There is a covenant for tithers, and it is always my culture to pray for those that are paying their tithes hallelujah if this is the first time you're joining our live session and you are not yet a part of our family that is you're not yet subscribed to this channel please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that whenever we are live you are not going to miss out on what god is doing please subscribe and uh, and turn on the notification bell god bless you in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to god father we love you and we thank you we love you and we thank you, Lord. We love you and we thank you, Lord. Because what the enemy intended for evil, that is the point of our turnaround. That is where you are turning our life around. What the enemy intended as a point of ridicule, as a point where he was going to use to drain us, that is where that is what you are using to turn our lives around. We give you all the praise. Just to remind you all, we are still fasting. This is the last week of our fast. We are still fasting and believing God for great and mighty things. Please, if all through the fast, it is a 21-day fast we have been going on today is what? Today should be like what day I've lost count. I tell you the truth, I've lost count. I can't wait for the fast to be over. I've lost count. But if you're uh, 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 if you're fasting with us, please go ahead and begin to fast. Or maybe you've not started fasting yet. You can still join us in this last day of fast and believe God for the year together with us. You can still join us for the fast and believe God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are not going to lose. That is the word I hear for somebody. I don't know who that person is. God says, you are not going to lose. I don't know if it's a court case. I don't know what you are fighting over. God says, you are not going to lose. God says, you are not going to lose. He's giving you victory. I don't know what that is. I am just saying what I'm hearing in my spirit. God says, you are not going to lose. God says, you are not going to lose. God says you're not going to lose. I don't know who that, that is for. God says you are not going to lose. He is giving you the victory. He is giving you the victory. He is giving you the victory. One more minute for those that are planting seeds. One more minute. God says he's giving you the victory. You are not going to lose. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid. Hallelujah.
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your awesome presence. God said nine people. Nine. Nine. God said nine people. He is turning. Nine. I pray for you that you are one of those nine people in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are one of those nine people. What the enemy intended for evil, that God will use that same thing to turn your life around in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray you are one of the nine in Jesus' mighty name. I pray you are one of the nine in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for the offering. So that we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, Super Chat, Super Sticker. May you bless their offerings in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those that are planting seeds, connecting into specific prophetic word, I don't know what that is. Let me see what, what people are saying. Whatever you are connecting into, Whatever prophetic word you're connecting into. Ah, people are already sending thanksgiving seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As you are thanking God for what he is yet to do, he's establishing his word in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are thanking God for what you are yet to see, he is establishing his word in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are believing God for restoration, may God come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, connecting as one of the nine. There are people who are connecting and they say, I am one of the nine. I pray, may God honor your giving. I, may God honor your giving. Sometimes, eh, like what I've always told us, sometimes God might just be speaking to some people. God might want, God's intention might be maybe for Z, Vanessa, Love, Planet, Brad. It might be for the visionary rebels. But God might just intend to touch you, but the fact that you are not able to receive and someone else, they were not even in the agenda of God. Mind you, you see, this woman with the issue of blood, Jesus was going to somewhere to go and heal somebody. The woman with the issue of blood was not part of the plan. Jesus was not going to heal her. She was not part of the plan. Jesus was going somewhere else to go and minister to another person. But this woman by faith touched the hem of Jesus' garment. She was not part of the plan, but yet she got her healing. She was not part of the plan, but yet she connected into what God was doing. And she got her healing for what she has been suffering from for 12 years. And so God might have a plan to touch nine people here. You might not be part of the nine, but your faith and your connection might just enlist you. Your faith and your connection might just enlist you for an encounter. Your faith and your connection might just enlist you for an encounter. Hallelujah. I pray as you reach out in faith, as you connect in faith to receive, may God meet you in that point in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like God did for the woman with the issue of blood. Whether you are part of the plan or not, but as your faith is strong and you are ready to receive, as you stretch out in faith to receive, may God meet you at your point of need in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Let me pray for the tithes that people that have paid their tithes on cash up. I pray for you, those that have paid their tithes, your tithe is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I activate the blessings of the tither over your life. May God open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain. And may God rebuke the devourer over your income in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Let's take our daily declarations together. Please, if you are new here, if this is the first time you are joining us and you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you are going to you are not going to miss out on what God is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God, Mrs. Liddell. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God, hallelujah, Mrs. Liddell. That was an encounter. That was an encounter. Hallelujah, glory to God. That was a mighty encounter. And I pray you will not recover from that encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever spiritual depositions have come into you is going to manifest mightily in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all mightily.
God bless you. On this mountain, we are on the mountain. We are still on our 21 days of fasting and people are already receiving encounters. People are receiving encounters and people are going to be receiving divine instructions. God will not pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus. God is not passing you by in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. You are the doer of all miracles. Whatever you have started in our lives, you are going to bring it to completion in the mighty name of Jesus. We trust you, Lord. We trust you for great and mighty things. We trust you for great and mighty things. We trust you for great and mighty things in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name. We are still fasting. Please, there is, there is no fasting without prayers. There is no fasting without prayers. I don't know. I feel I feel a burden in my heart. I don't know. I feel a burden in my heart. I feel a burden in my heart for someone. But there is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do, Patricia Harris. You've got to decide to trust God all over again, Patricia Harris. If, if something happened that changed your perspective about kingdom principles, something happened that changed your perspective about kingdom principles, but you've got to change your perspective. You cannot let the devil win. You cannot let the devil win. You cannot let the devil win. I want to tell you something. This is for everybody. There are kingdom there are things that the kingdom operates by and the devil might want to cheat you the devil might want to cheat you by making you to have a negative encounter that is going to that is going to affect that aspect of your life for example giving is a kingdom principle in the kingdom one of the ways by which we hack into the covenant of wealth is by giving Pain of tithes, reaching out to the poor, planting seeds, and all of that. But the devil might make you to have an encounter with somebody that is not real, that is not of God. I might even want to call them a charlatan. And after that, you 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 tell yourself, I'm never going to plant a seed again. I'm never going to sow a seed. I'm never going to reach out financially. Guess what? Guess what? You are not God. You are not robbing God. You are robbing yourself. You are not robbing God, you are robbing yourself. The devil is leading you to have that negative experience so that you tell yourself again, I am never giving an offering. This man of God or this woman of God cheated me of this. Whenever God gives you an instruction to do in your heart, go ahead and do it. They might think that they cheated you, but God is looking at your heart. God is looking at your heart. It has left your life. You are planting, you are believing God for a specific thing. I don't know why I am saying this. I don't know why I am saying this. There is somebody that the devil has cheated you because the devil has cheated you by connecting you to a wrong person or you had a very negative experience that has affected your life. And because of that, you have not been able to, you, are, you do not connect to kingdom principles and God cannot do anything for you. God will do nothing for mankind except in response. God has already created the world and set them rolling on principles. When the devil cheats you and makes you hold back, you are cheating yourself. Not God. Not God. Do you know why you plant seeds into, into the life? You might not plant seeds directly to God. You might not plant seeds directly to God because God has sent his servants and he has said them, you are going to eat on the altar. The Bible says that there might be meat in the storehouse. There are people that God has, God, in, God has assigned them in their life. They are supposed to feed from the altar. The priests of God and all of those things, they are supposed to feed from the altar. 
And so you might think that you are planting seeds into their life. That is the way that God had ordained for it to be. They are supposed to feed from the altar. When you give to them, you're, that is your own way of giving to God. Because where do you see God to give to? Let me ask you a question. Where do you see, see God? Where do you see God to give to him? He says, when, whenever you do it to the least of these people, you have done it unto me. Wherever you service the altar, you are doing it to God. I don't know why I'm saying all of this. I don't know who needs to hear this. Somebody, your mindset has to be revolutionized because the devil has been cheating you. The devil has been cheating you. It doesn't matter how long you say, amen, I receive. But in your heart, you have said, I am never going to do this. You are being cheated by the devil. The devil is cheating you. The devil is cheating you. One of the surest ways of getting blessed from of God is by ministering to his prophets. Is by ministering to his prophets. Is by ministering to his prophets. Hallelujah. Whoever I was talking to, I, I do believe that you have heard. I do believe you have heard. I'm not just I'm not saying this so that you should, I'm just I'm not saying this so that you should plant city. I'm trying to revolutionize your mind. I'm trying to talk you out of that thing the devil has done for you. I'm trying to talk you out of it. Yes, Carla. The act of giving in the Bible is a way to rebuke the devil over your income. It's a way you tap into kingdom covenants. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way. There is no way. Hallelujah. I pray that I've been able to help someone. I've been able to help you and to change your mind about certain things. Do it. Let the people have let the people have their 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 their, 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 their cross to bear with God. God is going to judge everybody. People that are using fraud and devilish means or people that are being manipulative to receive from you, God will judge them. But God will bless you for responding. Because how do you even know? How do you know? I always say something, and it is what my father and the Lord taught us. He said, each time the spirit of the Lord moves, plant an offering. You do not know, or plant a seed. You do not know, maybe that, that, that move, maybe the stirring of that move, your seed might just do something for you. But what if you do it and nothing happens? It's better you do it and nothing happens than that you do not do it and your life was dependent on that. Everyone is going to have their judgment. But always respond each time you feel the spirit. Always respond. Always respond. This is not for people. I'm not telling you to plant seeds right now. I'm not telling you. To, I'm just trying to give you a mentality and a mindset. I'm just trying to give you a mentality and a mindset. Oh my goodness. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are blessed of God. You are blessed beyond curse. May God uplift you. May God bless you continually. Oh my God. I told myself I was going to just come here for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And God has strengthened me. We have been here for 47 minutes. This is God. This is God. I did not know I'll be able to stay alive up to this minute. This is God. This is the power of God strengthening a man. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I love you so much, family. If you're here to touch the like button, please give the video a thumbs up. <clears throat> the visionary says, yes, I needed that. Thank you. I had a perception on the church and I don't trust every ministry. I just felt led to, to share that. I felt led to share that. God bless you. If you're here to, to subscribe, please kindly subscribe. Anthony Chad says, I am grateful you did. Needed this so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Milani says, it helped me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. And remember, I love you so much. You have become a part of my family. And I love you so much. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, remain blessed, remain lifted.
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in our next live session. Bye-bye.